Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to create something special for mom. Since Mother's Day is just around the corner, you can create this lovely little artwork piece or it can even be the face of a card. You can create this anytime you want. You can even change the um, writing that I've put in the center here. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing and I'm gonna explain it as I go. To begin, I have lightly written the word mom in the very center of this piece of paper using pencil, and I'm going to finish that part at the very end, um, but right now I'm just creating flowers, and I really want the flowers to go around the wording in the center and just kind of fill up the space as much as I can and keep it nice and balanced. So right now all I'm doing is creating some leaves, and I'm going to create these little kind of wisteria-like florals. All I'm doing is creating some spots with the tip of my brush and I'm creating them darker along the bottom and I'm just thinning it out as I get towards the top. You'll see me here just dotting on some paint. I'm going to add little stems to those later on. And to create the flowers, I've just taken a single color and I'm just starting from the bottom of the petals and I'm going and working outwards towards the top of them. And as I get to the top, I'm just sort of adding in short strokes, little details to kind of make it look like the petals are coming from behind the flower, if that kind of makes sense. I'm leaving white spaces in between just to kind of give it a little more um, of a highlighted effect. So really these flowers are just created using really rough brush strokes so just use your brush and kind of create like wispy lines and then try to create little petals just kind of peeking through around the sides and around the top and I'm just filling the space here with some more little floral pieces these are really easy I'm just creating a little stem and then little kind of like oval shapes just to give the impression of florals and I'm going to add a little bit of detail to those later. I'm just using a yellow shade here. I'm adding more of those wisteria bits just to fill up space again. I'm all about filling up white space and kind of putting more color and different leaves and shapes where I think that it needs to look a little bit more balanced. I want both sides of the painting to look equally balanced. So right now I just took some darker brown and I just added some detail, just some little spots to the very bottoms of all of those yellow ovals. And now with yellow paint, once the flowers are dry, I'm just adding these really short straight strokes just to give the impression of like the inside of the flowers. And with a darker green, once everything is dry, I'm just going through and adding the stems to each of the leaves and then to the little wisteria bits. Now I'm going to grab my Tombow marker in a second, and I'm going to just go over the pencil lines that I had drawn for the word mom. All you have to really keep in mind when you do this kind of calligraphy type lettering is just keep the tip light on the upstrokes and then kind of push down harder on the downstrokes, and that's going to kind of give you those um, light and darker lines. I'm just filling in some space with some extra bits of color just because I thought it needed a little bit more just around the word mom, and I'm just going to quickly touch up some of the areas on the lettering here just to make it a little bit more crisp. And I'm just going back in now that those are dry, adding the stems, and I am finished. Here's what the final piece looks like. If you need to rewatch the flower part, go ahead and do that. I kind of went through it quickly, but hopefully you get the idea. If you're interested in learning more about watercolors, I just added some new videos to the watercolor workshop. It's a members only site. I'm going to leave you with the little promo video for it right here so you can see what it's all about. And I would really, really love to have you guys. So please keep watching and subscribe. Hey everyone, welcome to the Watercolor Workshop. with the more water that you add. And once that dries, 
dries, it's gonna turn out something like this dry one over here, as opposed to something like this. I hope that you really enjoy this painting journey, and I can't wait to see your skills improve with practice.